Hey, what's up guys and welcome to the perfect Zerker from Zero, episode 2. In the last video, we ended up with 93 quest points, which we need for barrel gloves and 43 prayer, which will make these quests easier. Right here, the faster we finish these, the faster we'll get to PK. I've decided to start with Monkey Madness, so let's go do it now. It's going to give us defense XP as well. I just want 45 defense as quick as possible because I'll feel like a real Zerker, guys. Right now, I'm just a 20 defense peer. Yeah, you got to get all four bones for Recipe for Disaster. Well, actually, you only need three, but for this quest, you need the Karamja Monkey, so pretty much all four. All right, at the end of the quest here, time for the boss. Let's go. Dun, 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 dun. Prepare for battles, gnome! Onwards! On the demon! Holy fuck! Stay the fuck away from me, freak bitch! One more hit. Finish him, man! Did he heal? Oh my god. See you later, freak. Sup, Garkor? I did the dirty work while you just stood there and watched. Should be the quest done here. Big quest complete, boys. Monkey Madness, three quest points. There you are. Let's get that XP now. Kate, choose strength and stamina. All oh, my stats are about to go up big. I'm level 50, by the way. Several hours later. Boom, 110,000 experience just like that. 35 defense, 43 strength, and 48 attack. Damn, and we're 56 combat now. All right, what quest now? I just finished Monkey Madness. I think it's time to do Dragon Slayer. What the fuck? Yo, he's burning our ship. That fucking dragon. Oh my god, he killed our cabin boy too. Where's that bitch dragon and burning down my ship? I just bought that shit for 2k, bro. Let's go slay this ass. This is the same dragon that burnt down my ship? This dragon? Ha! <laughs> ah. Oh, that's a good one. Not this dragon. There's no way. Good fight, my man, Avlarge. Two quest points, ability to wear the rune plate body, 46 strength, 41 defense, one more defense level and I can use void. Next quest I'm doing, hero's quest. For that I need ice gloves so I'm seeing Queen Khaleesi's here. Bend the knee. Thank you, ice gloves. Okay, I need 53 cooking to cook the raw lava eel. So I bought 500 tuna to do so. I could have boosted for this, but I need 70 cooking for recipe for disaster anyways. And 53 cooking. Members can now cook lava eels. That's exactly what I have to cook. Heroes done. Only one quest point, but I need it. And this quest gives XP in pretty much everything. I'm done dragon slayer and heroes quest. Seven quests remaining. Let's do Horror from the Deep and then Underground Pass. Okay, time to start Horror from the Deep. Need that those god books, man. If I don't stop falling. And like, even on my main, 80 plus agility, I fall multiple times. It's ridiculous. What's, what's the point, man? Just holding us back. For what reason? For what reason? Ah. <sighs> Man, so if I fall one more time, I swear to God, bro. Oh my God, I'm gonna fucking die to this rock. All right, before I do horror from the deep, I have to get real fucking wasted. So let's go start bar hopping now. Thank you very much. <laughs> yes, bar crawl complete. Now I could start horror from the deep. Uh oh, Degnant incoming. I got him, ma. No, you don't understand. That was not the creature that attacked me. What do you mean, brother? That's a baby. 
Oh no, the mother! Mother of God. You white, so air spell. Red, fire spell, my most powerful. Man, you fucked up, bro. Nice. See you later, mother. Horror from the Deep complete, 2 quest points, 4.6k and pretty much everything. Okay, what book do I want first? I think the Zamrak book, plus 8 in everything offensive, that's probably what I want man. Nice, it's gonna be real expensive to fill this up but we'll, we'll make enough money soon man. We're definitely gonna use this for PKing. Alright guys, Horror from the Deep complete, I think I wanna do Family Crest because we could get those gauntlets to get 70 cooking. But I do need 40 crafting for that quest so I'm gonna do some Molten Glass until I'm 40 and then we'll do it. And there it is, 40 crafting, now let's go bang out this quest. Beautiful family crests and chaos gauntlets. I'm gonna turn these into cooking gauntlets. Yes, do that for me, girl. Hell yeah, cooking gauntlets, boys. I finished family crest. I'm going to do Shiloh Village and then Underground Pass. These are the two quest requirements for legends. All right, Rakshiliya's Corp. Should be the quest done here after I talk to this freak ghost that pops up. There it is, Shiloh Village quest done. Ah, Underground Pass, eh? Man, I don't know why people don't like this quest, man. I love this quest, it's so much fun, check it out. Yeah, like burn shit, you become a pyromaniac, and it's great. Excellent. Well, here's the last part of the quest. All I have to do is enter the door and use the doll on the well, and as long as none of these hit me, all should go well. Get it? Well, oh, what the fuck? Bro, use it on the well. Oh, finally. Underground pass complete. Five quest points, some attack XP as well, and agility. 109 quest points, looking pretty good. Alright, I'm not gonna do Legends Quest now. I kind of miscalculated. I don't have any of these stats right now. For Barrel Gloves, I don't even need to finish Legends Quest. I just need to start it to get in the jungle. We're just gonna bang out Desert Treasure, man. Let's do it. Let's get Ancients right now. And there it is, the final diamond, smoke diamond. So I'm here now with four diamonds and my kebab. It's time to enter the pyramid to complete our request. The final stretch, open the door. And there it is, desert treasure complete. We've unlocked ancient magic and we're only 60 combat. All right, now I've done all the big quests I've wanted to do. Now I can do whatever quest I want until 175 quest points and those B gloves are mine. There it is, five quest points. Romeo and Juliet complete. Oh man, I almost died to this boss. Try killing this boss with melee at this level. Shit's hard, man. The hardest thing in the game, more hard than Infernal. Haunted Mind Quest complete, 22k strength XP for 50 strength, I believe. Yes, 50 strength, that's badass. Let's gather some of these for the future for some salve amulet. Mountain Daughter done, two quest points. We're nearing 50 attack now. Big points right there, four quest points, 15k magic XP, next quest. I wonder if this is going to be easy with um, 5 farming. It's all good with 5 farming. All good. It's going to take a while, but I hit a 7, bro. A fairy tale Growing Pains done. 2 quest points. 18 farming. We still need 30 for Monkey Madness 2. Now I'm going to start Fairy Tale Part 2 just so I can be able to use fairy rings and transportation around the game will be that much easier. Another very useful quest complete here, Ghost Ahoy complete 2 quest points and unlimited teleports to the Ectofunctus, making history complete and this is 44 prayer as well. Now I can use Eagle Eye. 
Observatory quest. Scorpion Catcher done. That's actually a lot of strength XP. Might be a level. Yup, 51 strength. So guys, this is what my bank is looking like right now. 1 mil. But I really don't have anything at all. Nothing. I used all my money I made from Blue Dragons for stamina potions for a bunch of quests I've done. I'm currently at 145 quest points. I only need 20 more quest points and I'll start Recipe for Disaster. But first we need to make some money for stamina potions. But I realized I got this when I did Agility. 86 Marks of Grace. If I trade that in for Amethyst. Amethyst? Amelis crystals 10 marks of grace each let's go by 50 now the real question is how much do they sell for 800 crystals 650k i'll gladly take that 673k so i don't need 20 quest points i actually need 22 quest points and then recipe for disaster will give me eight which puts me at 175 and then i finish recipe for disaster and i'll be at 177 so 22 quest points guys let's bang this out man the final grind starts now what are you doing to me dude oh fuck Holy shit, what's going on? War tortoises everywhere. Crystal seed. 12,000 magic XP, 6,000 rune crafting from 1 to 22. Just like that. 62 magic boys, wind wave activated. There it is. Tower of life done. A bunch of XP, kinda, sorta. Sea slug complete never thought i'd be doing this but i'm doing recruitment drive and i need to get a sex change is this gonna be permanent i don't know but i'm a female now imagine getting pk'd by a girl ha and there it is recruitment drive complete i can now wear initiate you and what army this one soulless ha what you gonna do now freak bitch oh shit Maybe I don't want to do this quest. This guy's a fucking monster. You're telling me this guy just killed 30 of our men and fucking couldn't do anything to me? Man, that guy ain't shit, bro. There it is. Wanted quest complete. Pretty long, but 5k Slayer XP. We still need 69 Slayer for Monkey Madness 2. So any little bit helps. Damn, this is a quick quest. I haven't even finished this on my main. 300. Aight, aight. A Soul Bane's done. 500 defense XP. The very last free to play quest I have, Mithalin's Mystery, complete. Okay, dwarf cannon quest done. I can use the dwarf cannon now. It's gonna help me out during Slayer a lot, but I gotta make those big bucks and be a pimp daddy first. Cannonballs are expensive AF. Alrighty, sheep herder, done. Four quest points, that's so many. Currently at 160 quest points. Now the only quest I'm going to do is in search and aid of Meriki and Regicide. I chose three super long quests at the end because in search and in aid of Meriki will give me attack XP, which will bring me pretty close to 50, but not exactly. I think these are the two last attack XP quests I have. And then I'm going to do Regicide, three quest points right there because I do plan on killing Zora in the future to fund this account. And that will put me at 167 quest points. And that's enough to do Recipe for Disaster. All the mini quests for Recipe for Disaster, which will put me at 175. And then Barrel Gloves are all mine. In Search of Marquee 1, complete. Two quests left to go, boys. The final stretch. Let's get it. And that was a hell of a long quest, boys. But it's done now after I talk to this guy. In Aid of Marquee, done. Only one quest to go. Regicide. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Let's launch this shit. See you later, Tyrus Camp. Nice knowing you, freak bitch. Oh, that's badass. All right, boys. Today's a beautiful, wonderful day because the very last quest we're gonna do on this account, aside from uh, Recipe for Disaster, is now. Complete. Regicide quest done. Now for the real final quest. Recipe for disaster. We're getting these barrel gloves today, boys. Oh man, I got so caught up in doing recipe for disaster that I completely forgot that I needed 70 cooking. 
And there it is, 69 cooking, that's enough for recipe for disaster, all I need is a chef's delight for a plus one boost. I cooked 5,500 tunas, and I actually made a huge profit on this because 200k profit, time for the final quest. Alright, here we go guys. Wait, 73 cooking? I thought only boost plus one. Huh, I got extra cooking levels for no reason then, but... Oh, that looks good to me. Nice, boys. I've collected here all of the cooked items you need for Recipe for Disaster. Time to free everyone and finish this quest. I really need an M-Speak amulet to give this to him? Alrighty. M-Speak amulet. Now you can have the snake, Mr. King. Okay, everyone is freed now. Now you freed them all. I can restart time so you can deal with the Colonomancer. But you cannot defeat me. I'll be back. Hooray, he's gone. Okay, guys, all we have to do now is go through this portal that leads to who the fuck knows where and defeat six bosses. And then those barrel gloves are mine. All right, first boss here, we got Agrith Nanai. Supposed to be some kind of a banana freak or something. Good hit. There it is. We actually got him. That guy was actually hard, man. I can't even lie. Oh, I gotta go get my ice gloves. We out this bitch. I'll be back, sir. Alright. This guy was much easier than the first guy, that's for sure. Alright, Caramel. I'm ready for you. See you later, Caramel. Nice. Now all we have is the Degneth Mother and then the final boss. Dagneth mother dead and now it's just this guy left imagine being weaker than all of your subjects imagine you're weaker than all of them you're weaker than that caramel guy what kind of name is caramel yes he's dead boys we did it we did it oh my god this guy's expanding he has so much shit in him he's donezo fucking freak i've defeated the colonomancer I got an XP lamp for 20,000 XP. Recipe for disaster is now complete. I am so happy boys, we finally did it. Episode two and we have barrel gloves, like what? What are we gonna use this 20K XP lamp on? I wouldn't mind using it on range. It has to be at least level 50. Maybe I'll save it, cause 20K in Slayer or Hunter would be really, really nice. Oh, I can bank it. All right, I'll just wait until I'm 50 Slayer and then I'll use 20k on Slayer, no problem. Now guys, for the moment we've all been waiting for, 130,000 GP. Oh my god. Oh my god, there it is. And we're only level 62 combat. That is beautiful, boys. So guys, that's where I'm going to end today's video. We made so much gains, 177 quest points. Next episode, we're going to get some of our stats up, and I believe we're going PKing for the very first time. So if you guys did enjoy the video, make sure to slap the fuck out of that like button. And if you're new, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. We're definitely going to be doing some PKing in the near future here. And I'm so happy with the progress we made on this account on episode 2. And if you guys are curious before you roast me in the comments, this is how long it took me to get barrel gloves. 4 days and 4 hours. And once again, I do appreciate every single one of you for your continued support. Have a great day and don't forget to pay your new meters.